Good morning, St. John, and welcome to a terrific Tuesday. It's so exciting to be here with you again and share our daily announcements and prayer. Mrs. Hanger and I, we're really grateful to be with you yesterday at Monday Assembly. We hope that you are safe and healthy and are continuing to do your best learning and growing in a way that works for you and your family. So today is a special day. It is Green Shirt Day in honor of the humble Broncos defenseman Logan Boulay, who was an organ donor. And as we say our prayer together this morning, may we hold all those people who have lost loved ones tragically, especially those involved in the humble Broncos bus crash, and all those people who continue to share what they have with others in the midst of tragedy and loss. So St. John, holding those people today and your own people in your prayers as we come together this morning. So before we begin our prayer, we start with our mindful moment. And I'm hoping that you're gonna be able to hear our chime like we do at assembly and sometimes over the announcements. So I'm going to ring the chime in just a moment. And as you listen, and St. John, you know how to do this. As you listen all the way through, try to take that deep breath until you no longer can hear the chime. And as you take your deep breath today, remember to ground yourself in Christ especially during Holy Week this week. Take your deep breath in and invite Christ into your hearts and homes today. Let's begin with the sign of our faith. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Dear Jesus, how happy you must have been on Palm Sunday when you entered Jerusalem on your donkey. How happy you must have been when the excited crowds waved palm leaves. Thank you for being a king who serves others. Thank you for being a king who rules with love and not force. Thank you for being a king who opens his kingdom to everyone. Thank you for being a king who gave his life for us. Amen. And together we say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. St. John the 23rd, pray for us. St. Teresa of Calcutta, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, tomorrow we are still going to celebrate our first Wednesday of the month with our School Spirit Day Beach Day. As we shared at Assembly, please feel free to let the sun shine in and have a little bit of fun with wearing some school-appropriate beach wear. Have some fun with this, St. John. We have no birthdays to celebrate today, but maybe in your hearts and homes, you have a family member who's celebrating a birthday today. So happy birthday from St. John for any of our families members celebrating birthdays. And our healthy living announcement today, we continue in the month of April to think about our taking breaks. Have you ever really felt tired or sluggish when sitting and working for a long time? Well, guess what? This is your body telling you that you need a break from sitting and your mind needs a break from working so hard. Some of the ways you can sneak in a break, try doing bear crawls into another room, stretching tall and taking deep breaths, playing outside, or sometimes, like a lot of you do, and like Mrs. Bain does, you can stand while you're working. This helps keep your body moving. St. John, have a wonderful Tuesday, and remember, you are loved.